Hello there, welcome to Technic4 Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to discuss Shop Funnels inputs. Let's begin. One of the most important functions inside Shop Funnels is gathering the customer's data from opt in pages. In order to sort this data into relevant information, Shop Funnels uses a system called inputs. Let's open one of our shop funnels and take a look. So I will choose this store. Click on the Edit Store button. As you can see, this is my website homepage. And if I go visit the page, you will see a form with the name field, email field, and phone number field. If I right-click on this one and open the page inspector, I have here the name field, with a placeholder name. I also have the email field with a placeholder email and the phone number field with a placeholder your phone optional. And if you want to add another field like your address, your state, city, or home number, or anything else, here is how you would do it. For adding another field, just go back to your store, choose your page, go to the settings, and here you will see the valid input names for the project section, as well as the valid input names for the page section right below it. So for example, I want to add an address field to my form. I'll just need to add address on the valid input names for the page section. Then click on Save Settings. Then you will see that when I have added the address here on the valid input names for the page section, it will also be automatically added to the valid input names for the project section above. Now let's go back, select our page, click on the Edit Existing Page button. Now I'll add in my address field on the form. To add a field box, you can easily clone one by clicking on the box and selecting Clone Content. Then, I would like to add a margin. So let me go to the Style section, scroll down and select Margin, then add a margin. After that, go back to the Content section and click here on the field and choose the input type which is Text. Then for the placeholder type, add your address. After that, choose the correct input name for this field which is Address. If you want to set this field as a required field, just choose Yes, otherwise No. See here. If I select on the name field, you will see the input type is set as text, which is the correct one. Also for the input name, which is selected as name. For the email, the input type is set as email. Also for the input name, here on the phone numbers field, it's currently set as text on the input type text. But instead, you can select number or telephone for this one. You can also remove the optional No if you want to set it as a required field. And now select Yes on the required field section. Make sure to select the right input types and the names per field. Here is my form. And always remember that the form tag method is always set as post. When that's done, click on the Save button. Let's close this window. And now if I open the website homepage, you can see that I have added the address field to the form. Now let me enter in some details. And if I click on the send request button, it will not pass through because we have set the other fields as required. So visitors will have to fill in the required data. After that, when you click on the send request button, it will now take you to the confirmation page where it will tell you that your form was submitted successfully. Now if I go back to the store on the registration page, you will see the view count and conversion count. If you click on it, you will see the details that I have added to the form. When I registered the name, email, phone number, and address. Again, if I go back to that page and submit another one, you will immediately see it on the conversions. And that is how you can add the inputs in Shop Funnels. I hope you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching.